Huh. Anything unusual occur? Define unusual. Excuse me. This is a mental institution, Marshal, for the criminally insane. Usual isn't a big part of our day. <laughs> I will rephrase. Did anything happen last night during group therapy that was more, let's say, I don't know, memorable than... Normal? Exactly. No. Sorry. Did Miss Solando say anything during group therapy? She was worried about the rain. And she hated the food here. <laughs> Complained constantly. Last night included. So you, you were there. Was there a doctor present? Yes, Dr. Sheehan led the discussion. Dr. Sheehan? Yes. He was running the session. He's Rachel's primary, the psychiatrist who directly oversees her care. Huh. We're going to need to speak with Dr. Sheehan. I'm afraid that won't be possible. He left on the ferry this morning. His vacation was already planned. He'd been putting it off too long. You're in a state of lockdown. A dangerous patient has escaped, and you let her primary doctor leave on vacation? Of course, he's a doctor. <laughs> Do you have the phone number for where he's gone? Hello? 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 Anybody there? I'm sorry, sir, but it's all down, all the lines. The storm's hitting the mainland like a hammer. If you get it working, come find me immediately. The marshals need to make an important call. Yes, sir. I'm afraid I have evening rounds in the wards, but I'll be having drinks and a cigar at my house around nine, if you care to drop by. Good. We can talk then, right? We have been talking, Marshal. I gotta say, I'm thinking I got in the wrong line of public service. This is a little overwhelming. It was constructed during the Civil War, the same time as the military fort housing Ward C. This is the original commander's quarters when Uncle Sam got the bill. The commander was court martialed. I can see why. <laughs> nice music. Who is that, Brahms? No. Quite right, Marshal. Forgive me, gentlemen, my colleague, Dr. Jeremiah Nairi. Quartet for piano and strings in A minor. You're poisoned, gentlemen. Right, if you got it. Soda and ice, please. Thanks. Oh, you don't indulge in alcohol? I'm surprised. Isn't it common for men in your profession to imbibe? Common enough. And in yours? I'm sorry? Your profession, doctor, psychiatry. Yes. I always heard it was overrun with boozers and drunks. <laughs> Not that I've noticed. What's that? Iced tea in your glass there? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Marshal. You have outstanding defense mechanisms. You must be quite adept at interrogations. Hmm? Hmm. Men like you are my specialty, you know. Men of violence. Now that's a hell of an assumption to make. No assumption, no, not at all. You misunderstand me. I said you are men of violence. I'm not accusing you of being violent. Man, that's quite different. Now, please, please, edify us, Doctor. You both served overseas, huh? It's not much of a stretch, Doc. For all you know, we're both paper pushers over there. No, you are not.
Since the schoolyard, neither of you has ever walked away from a physical conflict. No, no, not because you enjoy it, but because retreat isn't something you consider an option. They weren't raised to run, Dad. Ah, yes. Raised. And who raised you, Marshal? Hmm? Me. Wolves. Ah. <laughs> 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 Very impressive defense mechanisms. That's glabish. You ever uh, seen a death camp doctor? A concentrationslager? Huh? Ich, ich war dabei bei der Befreiung von Dachau. Ihr Englisch, ihr Englisch ist sehr gut, fast perfekt. His English really is very good. He hit the consonants a tad hard though. Yeah, German. Is legal immigration a crime, Marshal? Oh, I don't know, Doctor. You tell us. Now listen. We're gonna need those files on Sheehan and the rest of the staff as well. No personnel files will be released to you, period. We're gonna need those files. Out of the question. Bullshit out of the question! Bullshit! Who the hell is in charge here anyway, huh? Huh? Dr. Nyring acts as liaison to our board of overseers. He relayed your request and it's been refused. Refused? They don't have the authority to refuse and neither do you, sir. Marshal, continue your investigation and we'll do all we can to help. This investigation is over. We're going to file our reports and we're going to hand it over to our... Hoover's boys. Hoover's boys, that's right. We'll be taking the ferry back in the morning. Come on, Chuck. Nice night. You'll be bunking in the orderly's quarters. Hey, boss. We're really packing it in? Why? I guess, I don't know, I just never really quit anything before. We haven't heard the truth once yet, Chuck. <laughs> 